I got beaten by someone recording a number. Oh, you on... know you got beaten by everyone. <laughs> What I wrote down was, I've said it before and, I, and I'll say it again, yeah. but I really think this show is ruining your reputation as someone with a brain in their nut. <laughs> no, it was sort of rude and, and not funny either. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have five Gregs. Chris, without the actual painting next to yours... Yeah. ..you know... Nuts. <laughs> yours looks like a haunted sex doll. <laughs> If you don't have a wardrobe, where did you get these biscuits out of? Because I think you may have misunderstood the task. OK, so I don't have a wardrobe, but I have a sort of, like, um, drawer? Like, a, drawer? a window seat. Like, OK, so you, like, you know when you're in a room and you're like, oh, there's no storage in here. A yeah. chest. And then you're, a, no, it's not a chest, it's built into the window. Oh, my Ooh. God, I'm so bored. <laughs> <laughs> look at the eyes and the eyelashes and look at the eyeshadow. If only you could have remembered the eyes themselves. <laughs> The hair. Got the floating eye. The flowers. No, these are the two eyes. Yeah, I know that. It's just one of them isn't on your <laughs> head. <laughs> what have you brought in? A uh, fox. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're magical and, and uh, they're all around us all the time and we don't notice them. The amount of films and in literature and in Japanese folklore. You have convinced me that the fox means a lot to you. And they skulk that, around in the suburbs gardens. in the middle of the night like a jazz they drummer don't... trying to score heroin. They don't <laughs> skunk. Deliver a cocktail to Greg. Who's Greg? <laughs> but the boys have to be rewarded in some way. They did complete the task. I'm going to give them two points each. I oh, think that's three. Right. Come on. Are you trying to question Greg's authority? You didn't know who I oh, was a minute ago. <laughs> 13 grams was unconsumed because he said he's not a child anymore, so he's not going to eat uncooked spaghetti. Did you used to... <laughs> Did you used to eat uncooked spaghetti as I a child? I did used to eat uncooked spaghetti. Yes. I did as well, and sometimes yeah. alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I mean, it's not a group activity. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on more wonderful videos like this. Your time starts now. I didn't know we could, we could do it on the floor. No one said we could do it on the floor. All well, the information was on the task. <laughs> So she did try to use the cement mixer as a musical instrument and yep. a metaphor. I think you'll find that that's going to be a, a cult number one hit. Oh, God. I don't think you can have a cult number one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Any special features? Uh, memory foam mattress. They don't work. I got one of them. It, it, it doesn't remember me. <laughs> <laughs> It's a whole canvas, more than any of the other this contestants. Is what oh, I'm so we should reward that. Yes. Oh, you could. You yeah, could. Yeah. For drawing a little Lego figure inside a clown head. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Ardell's lips in action. Oh, this he did good. that. <laughs> yeah. That's now, crazy. earlier, Ardell, you mentioned the word clown. <laughs> I... <laughs> Right, what's our first prize category, please, Alex? It is... <laughs> the thing that if you found it in a skip, you would be most excited by. <laughs> I've brought a multi-purpose seating device. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very good. Wow. When you're, like, a millennial, uh, you don't get your furniture from shops, <laughs> you get it from skipping. That it may qualify as theft within the Theft Act of 1968, unless you've got, <laughs> unless you've got permission from the skip owner. If, someone's, if something's on the street... It's yours, yeah. yeah. No, I, no, leave, no. I leave my car on the street. <laughs> I am struggling to see how it would excite the, the alien life force because of their advanced technology, Chris. Well, we don't know. It's all hypothetical. I mean, I, I, I'm looking at you, Alex. You didn't even like the bit at the beginning. It's about, it's Sean Alien. We don't know anything about these aliens. Oh, he's gone too Geordie for me. Absolutely. Well, Craig, today you and you alone have asked them to bring in the best object with a handle. I have brought you a wheel of fortune. Oh. 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 Here it is. <laughs> Oh, look at that. What does it do? I don't understand what it does. So you see the triangles? Yeah. We're really bad at making decisions. Yeah. You stick the decision you want. It's like a Rubik's cube, but flat. <laughs> you spin the wheel. 
the handle. Are you, are you proposing that we write things in the blank spaces? You can put whatever you want. There's only, like, ten possible things that can happen to you for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's more than you were expecting. <laughs> for more Taskmaster, subscribe now.